Hello again. This is the second video for geometry week two, talking about angle addition postulate. So if you watched the first video, that was about segment addition postulate. The concept of angle addition postulate is very much the same. We have this point H. It is between, or they call it um, in between angle G, F, J. So when you form this ray FH, it forms two non-overlapping angles. Okay, angle GFH, all of it is over here. None of angle HFJ is inside of that. That's the idea of point H being on the inside of angle GFJ. So basically what you have is just two angles right next to each other sharing a ray. We take this angle here the 4x plus 4, we're going to add it to this angle of 4x minus 1 to equal the whole thing. Now the whole thing, we're giving up here, 155. So that's our algebra to set it up. We take angle GFH, 4x plus 4. We're going to add it to angle HFJ, that is the 4x minus 1, to equal the whole thing, which was the 155. We combine our like terms. 4x plus 4x is 8x. Our constants, 4 minus 1 is 8 plus 3 to equal 155. To solve for x, again, we're going to subtract 3 from both sides. We get 152 to equal the 8x. Then we divide by 8 to get x by itself. x equals 19. Okay. That's not our answer. Up here, the question says, what is the measure of angle GFH? GFH is the 4x plus 4. So, always make sure you're answering the question. Measure of angle GFH equals, that is our 4 times our x value, which we just found of 19, plus 4. Oops, didn't need that last parenthesis, sorry. 4 times 19, 76, plus 4. Angle GFH is 80 degrees. That's how we do that one. The next one from our notes is the same idea, but the algebra is a little bit more complicated. Again, the whole idea of all this stuff that we're doing during this COVID, we're calling it school, is getting you a um, review of the algebra to prepare you for next year, which is going to be algebra two. So that's kind of why we're doing these problems here. All right, so same idea. Uh, we're going to take this angle of x squared. We are going to add it to the other angle of x plus 5 to equal the whole thing, which you're told right here, measure of angle ABC is 35. So just like with the segment addition postulate, when we have the different powers of x, we have to set everything equal to zero. So we're going to subtract 35 from both sides. That gets us our equal to zero. Now on the left side of the equal sign, we got our x squared. We got our plus x. 5 minus 35 is a minus 30. So now once this is all set equal to zero, we are going to do some factoring. We're looking for two quantities to multiply together to equal x squared plus x minus 30. When we multiply two things together to get an answer like this, we're talking about doing FOIL. So when I do the factoring, I think of FOIL in reverse. First term times first term to get us the first term. So that's got to be x times x to get us x squared. When we do the last term times the last term, we always get our last number. That's negative 30. So we're looking for two numbers to multiply to be negative 30. There's lots of possibilities. Which ones do we use? This middle term is our, is our check. So when we do the outside part of FOIL and the inside part of FOIL, those two quantities have to combine to be our middle term. That's got to be plus 6 and minus 5. 6 times negative 5 gives us our negative 30. When we do the outside, that's negative 5x. When we do our inside, that's 6x. We combine those, positive x. Then we set each of our factors equal to 0.
solve for each one. X equals negative 6. Over here, X could be 5. So as of right now, we have two answers. However, we always have to check with these kinds of problems. When we talk about angle measurements, they have to be positive. So this value of X equals negative 6, it's throwing up a little bit of a red flag. If I plug it in, negative 6 plus 5 into this angle, that's negative 1. We can't have a negative angle. So this is not a good answer. X equals 5. 5 squared is 25. 5 plus 5 is 10. 25 degrees plus 10 degrees is 35 degrees. So this is our one and only good answer. And that was the question. Solve for X. We did. That's it. I hope it makes sense. If you have any questions, email your teacher.